Hi and welcome, this is Ashna here with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. If you're coming to my channel for the first time, I welcome you and to all my existing subscribers, a big, big gratitude from my heart. I truly am grateful to all your love that you shower upon me through your subscribes, through your shares, through your comments, through your donations and personal readings and healings that you take from me. I thank you and I absolutely love reading your comments and receiving your emails and asks about making more videos and more content that you'd like to see of. And I know that many of you ask me to make content on number synchronistic patterns, repeating numbers or combinations of numbers. And today in this video, I'm bringing forth for you a number synchronistic pattern that has been really playing out in my life over the last six months or so. And I've been on a spiritual path for active spiritual path for almost a decade now, over a decade actually. So the number pattern that I'm going to talk about today is 717. You're seeing this, it's showing up in your life and you're wanting to know what does it offer? What am I supposed to do? Is there something I'm supposed to do as I see this number? So one of the first things that we notice with 717 is there are two same numbers and another one in between. Let's first understand that everything in the universe is energy. Everything is energy. My thoughts, feelings, your thoughts, your feelings, each has its own vibration, each has its own frequency. Whether it's living thing, inanimate, everything has a frequency. And as to these numbers, the first thing that I want to say when you're beginning to see the 717 or you have been seeing it is that the universe, your guides, your spirit teams, God source are telling you, are showing you that you are on your divine life path, that you are on your life purpose and on track and on track and on point. That's the first big message. And you've been seeing the 717 and I already know, I already know for a fact that you've gone through lots of challenges, you've overcome a lot of obstacles and that they have been a lot of tests of initiation. You've gone through a lot. You've gone through a lot and it gets you to question if you are on the right track, you are on the right path or not. And 717 is here to tell you, to show you, to encourage you to continue doing what you're doing, to continue to follow your heart's desire. And that's a big message of 717, is to continue to persevere, to continue to put in the effort, because the power to succeed lies within you. The power to succeed lies within you, and divine help and divine support is always around you. So let's look at the number 717 as numbers. Like I talked about, each number has its own vibrational frequency. So seven, let's start with seven. Seven is a number for inner wisdom. It's a number for intuition. It's the number for spiritual awakening, trusting in the divine, trusting in the divine plan. It is a number for spiritual growth. Seven is a number for mysticism manifesting your dreams you know we hear it lucky number seven why is it considered lucky why do we say that seven is a lucky number because it's the number for the spiritual realm it's you connecting with your spiritual self in this human body connecting with our soul connecting with our spirit within so seven is our seventh chakra which is the crown chakra the crown chakra is located right here above our head. Okay, well, it's right here. And it's called the Sahasara in Sanskrit, which is our divine connection, connection to the universe, connection to the God source. So let's start with that part. Our connection to the divine source is heightened when you're seeing the 717. That means more of the spiritual insights are coming to you. You're gaining a lot more of spiritual knowledge, spiritual wisdom, spiritual intelligence, power, spiritual love is awakening within you. There's a downpour of that energy coming in. 
That's the number seven and the seventh chakra. Now let's look at the next number, one. One is the number of leadership. One is the number for new beginnings. One is the number for motivation, self-assertion, courage, resilience, moving forward. One is the number for your individuality, your uniqueness. So with one right next to the seven, it's showing that you are getting divine inspiration. You are getting divine help, divine support through inspired ideas, through people and synchronistic events showing up in your life, opportunities opening up for you. But, but you must remember that you are the creator of your life. You have the power to succeed in creating and experiencing your reality the way you wish for it to be just like a magician. You know, I'm a tarot reader and card number one speaks of is the magician. A very yang energy, doesn't matter, male or female. Yang is a masculine energy, an energy which is a doer, which is something that takes action, okay, action oriented. That's a yang energy, a active principle within us. So you are getting divine inspiration. You are getting the downloads. However, to create the reality that you wish to experience, you must take charge. You must be fearless in your dreams. You must be fearless to follow your heart's calling, to take the necessary steps, whatever those steps are whether it's a new project that you're wishing to launch, a new entrepreneurship, a new way of being. Don't be afraid of what others will say and if this will be accepted or not accepted. You're connected completely to the divine source. Divine energy is all around you and within you. And with all that divine help and support coming to you, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about what others will say or do. You must simply do how you are, what you are inspired to do. That's why with these billions and billions of people, we're billions of humans on earth. Each one of us has a unique vibrational pattern, a vibrational signature, goes back to my original point of everything's energy. So the certain thoughts and ideas that you have are very unique to you. We wouldn't have all these innovations today if it wasn't for the uniqueness of someone. You know. I've been a business professor and we give so many examples and I was having this conversation with my son on competitive strategy and of different CEOs and what they bring forth. It's a different way of thinking. How are you being a CEO or a leader in your life? CEO of your life. That's number one. You're the number one person in your life. However, we're not touting here about being selfish or self-centered, but here we're talking about where you're feeling restricted, where you're feeling limited, where you're feeling like, I don't know if I am doing the right thing or if this will ever manifest. The 717 is here to tell you your dreams will manifest. It is a given. However, you must, you must overcome these challenges. You must learn these lessons. So these obstacles or challenges that you are facing or have been facing in your life have been designed for you as a part of this obstacle course. It is to train you. It's spiritual training, okay? Spiritual training to materialize your dreams. To materialize something will require energy, it will require focus, it will require dedication, it will, re it will require some sort of a sacrifice. You know, I could be doing something, but when I'm focusing on my work, I have to give up that time to do something else. So it is going to require a balance between how much are you giving to your dreams and how much you're giving to others. So creating a balance is one of the key lessons that the 717 is also bringing forth in your life. So let's go back to that example of CEO and leadership. There's not a single CEO or a leader in business and entrepreneurship who has risen and reached that state without something what we call as a failure. A failure. It is a necessary part for growth. 
Something that's called a mistake, a seeming mistake, or a seeming failure is very necessary. And I repeat, it is necessary. Because it shows and it teaches us what it means to be resilient, to work through it. No matter what the challenge, I'm going to make it happen. So what happens with that can-do attitude is it builds and it pushes a lot of energy, spiritual energy. Okay, Here, the spiritual energy is directed and focused towards your goals and your dreams. Right? So that's the key message of the one which is in between the 717. Now let's move to the second seven, because I talked about the first, you've got the divine intelligence, you've got all these unique ideas, that's you, that's one, you're the leader, you're the CEO of your life. Now we have another seven. What is showing with the seven backing after you've gotten the divine inspiration and you begin to take these guided steps, we're seeing another seven after that. What that seven has shown to me in my life is that Archana, it is time to pause and reflect. Check in with their inner guidance system. Am I doing the things that I should be doing? Or are there some changes that need to be made? Are there some course corrections that need to be done? And that is not something that will come from here. And that's what that seven shows. That's what the seven is here about. One more time divine intelligence, divine intelligence flowing in. And also, I want to highlight the number one, as it relates to our chakras, is the first chakra, the root chakra, which sits at the base of the spine. Seventh, I talked about the Sahasara, connecting to the divine, and the root chakra, the base chakra, which sits at the base of the spine, the Muladhara, is all about safety security, foundation. So what foundations are you setting in your life? You're getting divine inspiration so that you can materialize. Downward flow from the chakras, from the crown to the ground, is the flow of manifestation. That's why it's called lucky number seven. So I'm seeing that with the sevens, you are getting all that divine wisdom, divine intelligence, divine power, divine love, ideas flowing through your channels through your energy body. It's coming in. It's coming in to help you to see the sixth chakra. It's helping you to express your authenticity, the throat chakra. It's helping you to share of your love and open of your heart. And it's giving you that strength of will because it's aligned with the divine will. And it gives you that willpower to charge assertiveness and willpower and it moves into the sacral about releasing our emotions allowing creativity to flow through and it reaches into the base the root the muladhara the root just like i have a tree right here right in my garden right here the roots are what the foundation is okay they can have amazing ideas but if it's not rooted and grounded nothing's going to materialize and that's where I'm, we're talking about the drive. We're talking about the passions and building and courage and all of that energy is now being grounded. And now look at it. We get another seven. What does that mean? That manifesting energy of what you're grounding, again, it's moving up through the chakras. It's moving up and merging with the divine source. So I'm seeing a complete circuit being done from the, from the divine, from a sahasara moving down into the root, into the root, rooting it. And then more of that energy, grounding energy from the earth is flowing up into our divine self. What a beautiful flow of you are serving as this filament. You're serving as this conduit for creative energy to flow through. You're serving as this conduit for divine energy to flow through to have an expression a unique expression of you a unique expression of you a 717 is that take charge and don't give up don't give up the power to succeed lies within you and you have the biggest support that anyone could ever want or ever need ever need we think that, okay, you know, that person didn't show up, that didn't happen, if I had more money, if I looked a certain way, now 
you've got the divine support you got the universe conjuring up the right opportunities for you you put your heart's desire and have faith have faith in god have faith and trust in the divine that your dreams are manifesting even though they haven't fully shown up yet even though they haven't fully bloomed yet so continue continue to persevere continue to release resentment continue to release judgment criticisms feelings of guilt and shame and blame start to see things from a higher perspective from a larger perspective the grand plan be the ceo get the higher vision you have it see it so allow the vibrancy of the beautiful colors of you to shine through have the confidence the courage to continue on your path you are on your path you are on the right track all these obstacles and challenges are coming towards you boy you are going to be successful and i can't wait to see the innovations the growth in your lives so you are a gift to the world your divine gift only you so don't be afraid to shine your unique colors whatever that may be fearlessly knowing that you have the divine support and it's okay to fall a few times that's our learning experience that's the learning curve so go forth for your dreams 717 is a big message for follow your dreams you are completely divinely protected divinely guided and you are on point and on track so make it happen make it happen <laughs> wow <laughs> I um generally just make a few notes and I kind of go with what my spirit's guiding me to share at that moment the moment I get in front of the camera the notes are somewhere here but um uh, it just kind of flows through and that's exactly what I do I am an energy healer but I have worked in corporate and letting go of one aspect and opening up to the spiritual side has been such a beautiful journey um yes of course challenging of course obstacles but i could tell you one thing um that i am seeing such a positive shift and i am seeing the fruits of my labor <laughs> it seemed laborious and that seemed like this seemed harder than giving birth <laughs> to the children i've had um because i felt like wow this journey is like so it's resistance you're letting go of resistance you're allowing more of the divine light to flow through and as that divine light flows through you're just kind of going to go you know just the way my arms are moving it's just you're going to go with the flow so go with the flow another message that um <clears throat> i wanted to share i i just remembered as i was flowing my arms is that be okay and it's pretty normal to kind of swing from and i want to say the word swing it's it's going to be we're swinging from one one end to the other you know we live in this dualistic world everything is polar right that's the third dimension where overcoming duality what does it mean by when you're overcoming duality okay duality is left right up down you know white black masculine feminine so everything in the world exists in so we can get a relative experience you wouldn't know cold unless you knew hot you know so that's how we as humans are experiencing our universe is through duality so many times you'll find yourself like you're moving towards one end and then suddenly you're going to the other and you question like what's going on i thought i learned this so this is a natural rhythm it's a natural cycle for us to experience so the key becomes is balance the key becomes is balance how you maintain your center oh that's another thing that i didn't talk about before i said i love i hope you love the video and that is 7 plus 1 plus 7 is 15 which totals 2 and it brings it down to 6 6 is the energy of balance and that's what the balance is balancing the polarities and try to come into the middle ground into the middle ground but you will keep going back to experience one and then the other and over time and i can say this definitely with experience it's not there in the books this is personally i've experienced this that the swings towards one end is not going to go to one extreme and then the other so the contrast is so crazy no it's going to get less and less and then you're going to be able to find that even kill and then eventually you're going to be in this zen like state where um 
you know, the one of the best CEOs, and I love giving the CEO example, um, I feel are the ones who can maintain the calm in the midst of the storm. The storm is brewing outside and you are in your inner core and center, knowing that your connection to the divine source can never be severed. So continue to build on that faith, continue to have faith in your dreams. Don't give up hope. You're nearly there. And such beautiful positive shifts are taking place and you're going to bring bringing forth so much beauty and so much amazing stuff into um, the universe, into the world. Who knows, you know, you're going to be the next, uh, I don't know, <laughs> whoever you look up to. I mean, I look at like, look at all these creative people who have come up with such massively amazing innovations. You're going to be the next innovator. So We're not going to know the next Einstein. That could be you. So don't give up and follow your dreams. So I love you guys. Thank you all for sticking on till the end of the video. It always tends to be a little bit organic. Um, as much as I love to have things planned as a old professor, uh, have my notes and what am I going to give as a handout, but <laughs> the spiritual part just, just kind of flows and, and you know, that's just the way we go. So I send you much love, much life, much joy, and so much more creation. You are birthing a new world, a new earth, and a new you. So send you love and light. This is Arshna here for Divine Soul Resonance. I love you guys. Mwah.